Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my very easy single step kinapusan or pork cracklings using the Philips air fryer. Kinapusan or kinuksan is a Cebuano food made of dehydrated pork skin deep fried. Normally you would boil this in water with salt, garlic, and vinegar, and then you dry them and deep fry them twice. My version is very, very simple. Let me show you how, so continue watching until the end of the video where I'll be sharing the list of ingredients. What are we waiting for? Tara, let's cook! For this recipe, you will need pork skin sliced into small pieces, about an inch square. I always have pork skin in stock as the kids do not like to eat fat and skin and meat. So whenever I make pork chops or when I grill pork belly, I slice off the skin and just set them aside for the next time I'm making something like this. You'll also need garlic powder and fish sauce. That's it! Those are the only three ingredients. Now let's start seasoning our pork skin. Sprinkle your garlic powder gradually and mix well, making sure to coat the pork skin. And then pour in the fish sauce. No need to add salt. And this one is the main ingredient that will make the skin really, as in really pop. Make sure to mix well while you massage. Now let's set aside for about 15 to 20 minutes just to let it set. Now let's get our air fryer ready. Open the basket and put them all in. Guys, this does not require preheating at all. Now you want to lay them down flat, make sure they're not crowding. And then close the basket. Cook at 200 and set timer to 30. When your timer goes off, you are done. It is that easy. And just a tip guys, you can open the basket and check and also turn them over in between. It is totally okay to open the basket while cooking. I mean, I used to do this when I first got my air fryer years back back when I wasn't familiar yet with the timing. I'd often check to make sure they're not getting overcooked or worst, burnt. So yeah, that's it. Very easy. Air fried kinapusan. Now here's the list of ingredients. If you have any questions about the recipe, just comment down below and I'd be glad to answer. I hope you get to try this recipe. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. And if you liked and enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye!